General Michael Flynn, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Flynn's political influence has only grown since the January 6th insurrection. Tomorrow, we the people are going to be here, and we want you to know that we will not stand for a lie. General Flynn, do you believe in the peaceful transition of power in the United States of America? The fifth. One more time, General Flynn. After failed efforts to overthrow the 2020 election results, the retired three-star general and former national security advisor has been focused on this year's elections. Because I am so sick and tired of, re of these Republicans that are out there that do nothing. The Associated Press and Frontline sat down with Flynn in a rare on-camera interview with what he considers the mainstream media. I don't even know why I'm talking to you, honestly. And I hope this is recording. Is it recording? You've been doing a speaking tour, you're endorsing candidates, you're very busy. What are you fighting for? I am fighting for our constitutional rights. And, you know, in a big way to save America, I guess. We need to take this country back one town at a time. One Flynn says the left and Democrats want to destroy the country. They're godless, they're soulless. His solution for saving America begins with local action. Yeah, I do use this phrase, local action, national impact. Local action, national impact. If we do that across the country, that's the way we're going to take this country back. It also includes promoting baseless conspiracy theories and stoking division and grievance. We're going to go continue to go around this country and talk about election fraud. We're going to talk about COVID, this, this health tyranny that we're facing. I consider Michael Flynn one of the most dangerous individuals in America today because he is spearheading the attack on our democracy, which is coming from many quarters. And he is affiliated with many of these sectors from the military to Christian nationalism to election denial. Flynn has endorsed around 100 candidates for federal, state and even local offices, raised millions and helped launch the Reawaken America tour that mixes politics and religion. I mean, there is a spiritual war and there is a political war. And they are going on. They're going on in this country right now. Why are you now a politician? I'm not. I could care less about politics. I care about this country. Since November, since the November Virginia election across the country, we have overturned 200 school boards in this country. 200. You don't think what you're doing right now is engaging in politics? Or no, I think every single person in this country, every every American citizen, uh, now has to pay attention to politics. My faith and my health. I don't want the government messing around with those two things. You know, Flynn is, is getting in front of audiences and he's using Christian nationalist rhetoric to rally people who, who want to be fed that because they want to be uh, excited, mobilized. They're going to shut our churches down and they're going to tell you, you're going to get mandated to do this, you're going to get mandated to do that. I Christian mean, nationalism threatens democracy because it is fundamentally anti-democratic by nature. It doesn't prioritize uh, the incorporation or the participation of, of, of all Americans. They say you're a Christian nationalist. Are you? What is that? I'm an Irish I think Catholic. Should skip that question. He's an Irish Catholic general. Who I'm a follower of Jesus. How's that? 33 years okay. in the military serving yeah. this country. During our interview, Flynn drew on a familiar tactic, attacking the media. AP is a horrendous organization, okay? Because of an AP false story on me, caused the, caused the Dow Jones to drop and, and, and either suspended or fired What's, the guy. What story was that? The AP never wrote such a story. Flynn got upset when we asked him about his brother, U.S. Army General Charles Flynn, who was involved in the Pentagon's response to the January 6th insurrection. Did you communicate with Charlie on or about Charlie who? your brother, Char General Flynn? Okay, that question. On or about sorry, January This is why AP, AP, see, AP right. won't this. No, so because of this okay. interview, because of this interview, I will never talk to AP again. So if somebody in a press conference because I usually ask, okay. who do you, who General are Flynn. you? I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm, I'm so sick of this because it's so fake and it's so targeted and it's all about we're gonna, we're gonna get this guy. No, no, no. It's okay. I was dumb. Why don't we do I was that dumb. Too? I'll never I... speak to AP again okay. because of this interview. But Flynn continues to speak publicly. Okay. 
and his actions show he's building a political movement to influence elections this year and beyond. And we're not facing Goliath. This enemy is not 10 feet tall. This enemy is weak. I and mean, how we defeat them is when we get involved in our communities around this country. God bless you. God bless America. And thank you very much. Peace.